Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel Public Void Geek. This is Sanam and today we are going to continue with our Firebase authentication app that we were working on before. Uh, we already did the uh, email sign in. Uh, you can see you can try it out. See at abc.com one two three four five six. So if the user doesn't exist, it will create the user and we will be able to sign in. And if the user already exists, then uh, we'll be able to sign in. Uh, then as well and if we try to run our app again we are storing the session as well the authentication that the user signed in last time so the user will not have to re-enter his login details so today we are going to look at google sign in with firebase and uh, let's get started all right guys so in order to start with the google sign in uh, we need a uh, few things we need to uh, set up to be done in order to allow users to use Google sign in with our app. Uh, so let's get started. Let's head over to the documentation. Uh, this is the documentation for Google sign in uh, with Firebase. So if you just go through it, uh, the very first thing it will ask you to do is add Firebase auth and Google sign in auth. So let's head over to our port file. And we already have Firebase auth. We have used it before. Uh, and let's add this one as well. So I'm just going to copy this and put it back. We don't need this one again. So that's it. And I'm going to save and close this. Right, so in terminal, uh, we'll go back, uh, we'll uh, open terminal and we'll enter the Firebase authentication directory, the, the project directory. Uh, I'm already inside it, so you can check. So I have my pod files available. So I'll just do pod install. And it will install the Google sign in uh, for us. As you can see, there are multiple uh, pods which have been installed. And let's open the project now. And I'm going to do command build just to compile the pods. And the build succeeded. So we are ready to start working with the sign in now. So let's go back to the authentication, I mean, the documentation. And it says that we need to import uh, Google sign in in the view controller as well as the app delegate. So let's go to the view controller and add import Google sign in command S. And let's go to app delegate as well and do import Google sign in and command S. Now we need to add a uh, delegate uh, over here. So let's go to, uh, but before that, we need to add uh, uh, a URL scheme. So how Google sign in works is when you, when the user clicks on the button, uh, browser, um, uh, so in app browser will be opened up, right? And user will be taken to a Google sign in page uh, and where user enters his email address and password. And then user returns, uh, Google returns uh, authentication uh, token with, to us, back to us, right? So we need to give that URL um, in our app. So how we do that is uh, we'll go to our Google service info list. And we'll look for this reserved client ID. Double click, command A, command C. So we'll copy this, go back to our project here, Firebase authentication, and click on info. And open this URL types, the last one. Click on plus. And in, under the URL scheme, let's just paste this and hit enter. So this is what we need uh, for the, the pop up to come up. And if we try to run the app, nothing will happen right now uh, since we have not uh, set up anything for the Google sign in. So let's continue. Let's go back to app delegate and also to the documentation. So as you can see, it says inside app delegate, we need to add this delegate. So let's do that. And as soon as you do it, you need to confirm to the protocols. And here, message, fix. So this is the, I'm just going to put it uh, right over here. It doesn't matter where you put, I just want to keep it like this. So this is the uh, method when user is signed in. So you can say did sign in for. So once the user is authenticated or user is trying to sign in, this is the method that will be called, right? Okay, so let's go back. And this one is done. So under Firebase app configure, as you can see, this is the one that we did last time. Just need to enter two uh, line of code. So I'm just going to copy this and add it right over here. 
next stop is uh, this is for the URL session so yes we need this uh, as well so let's just do it right over here all we need to do is type this particular thing this keyword which is UI application open URL options key so let's try open URL options key hit enter so this is the function that we need to uh, add and inside this we we'll just copy this uh, code and Swift is going to give us a small error which we will fix it right away and right over here fix. so yeah we're almost there uh, just a few more line of code and then we should be able to start seeing uh, the Google authentication page all right uh, so this one is just for the iOS 8 we are not going to try this one or we're not going to implement this and right over here so in the sign in one so let's try this if uh, let error is equal to error so print error dot localized description and we will return else so if there is no error that means user is able to sign in so we will add the authentication right over here let's do guard let authentication is equal to so we are trying to um, now the user is able to sign in there was no error so now we will capture those the, the information that google is uh, providing us so let's do that so let authentication is equal to user dot authentication so else will return and after the authentication we also need the credential so let me let's do that so let credential is equal to it's called google auth provider uh, dot credential with uh, with id token so id token we're going to get from the authentication dot id token and access token again we will get from authentication dot access token so now we have the credential available for the user and uh, Google has provided us the access token as well as the authentication uh, ID token. I think that's uh, all we need here. Uh, did disconnect, this is the uh, function that you can set up if you want to see whether the user is currently connected to the app or not. If, or if user has left the app and you want to perform some function, uh, you can do this uh, right over here, but uh, we are not going to work on that right now. So as of now, the authentication uh, should be working, but this is just the Google authentication. Uh, the you we still need to authenticate this user to our Firebase system, right? So uh, let's do that. And in order to do it, uh, we will call our uh, Firebase authentication. So we'll call auth dot auth dot sign in uh, and retrieve data. This is the function that. Uh, that we are going to use and uh, for the auth credential we're going to provide the credential that is just that was just created right over here and then completion uh, I'll say result and error so if error is equal to equal to nil so if there was no error uh, we'll say print um, result dot user dot email and print uh, result dot user dot display name. All right so we're just going to display it over here and in the else section we will say print error dot localized description so if there was an error uh, we'll be able to know it and we'll be able to see what sort of error we have uh, so this should be enough to authenticate uh, our user to Firebase using Google. Uh, however, the sign-in button of Firebase is still, I mean, the Google is still missing. So we need to do that. And then we also need to uh, enable the Google sign-in uh, method. So let's go back to our Firebase console. And inside, so inside the Firebase console, let's click on authentication, sign-in method. And there is some sort of problem. I'll just, uh, oh my God. Internet does not work for some reason. Okay. Right, so we are in the sign in method and our users are here. So I'll go to Google and let's just enable this. 
and over here we go here and enable uh, we have to provide an email address as well so done that's done um, all right so let's go to our main storyboard and let's add the google signing button so for that i'll i'll do a little bit of refactoring on the storyboard i need i'll move this uh, three uh, uh, objects a little bit uh, at the, towards the top so that i'll have more space at the bottom so i'll just select this email and in align y i'll go and go with uh, so it called minus 100 yeah, so let's do minus 100. Now we have space over here. I'm gonna so, so Firebase allows us to add Google sign in button uh, with two ways. First is that we add a UI view and give it a class of uh, GD sign in button, uh, which is a straightforward method. Or if you want to customize the sign in, then you can add a button and then uh, you can give it a class of GD sign in, create an object, and then you can customize it. So we're gonna go for the simple one. So I'll just add a UI view here. Let's bring it right over here, and I'm gonna give it a horizontally in container for height. Uh, Fifty is okay. Uh, Thirty from top is also okay. For width, I'll do one hundred. Uh, seems like okay for now. Yeah, it's it's okay. But I'll just give it a width of. 150 just a little bit all right uh, so this view is here and we will do gid sign in button plus to this uh, this view now if i try to run i will we'll still not be able to uh, sign in but uh, i think we can see the google sign in button so yeah google sign in button button is right here uh, but it won't work right now let's go to view controller and right over here uh, we need to we need to do a couple of more things, uh, just quick ones. Uh, so this is done. This is uh, right over here. Uh, we have these two line, actually just this one. So we'll do. We'll confirm to. I mean, we'll add a delegate here. So G I D sign in U I delegate, and then in the view did load, I will do like this. So now Google sign in should work. Uh, let's try it out. It should work now. So I don't want to do this. I'll directly click on Google sign in. So we get a pop up. This is the URL that we provided that we copied from uh, info.plist, Google info.plist, and we provided in the info section of our project. So click on continue, and you will see. Uh, so this email and this, you can add another email and do it. I'm just going to continue with this one. Uh, but you can see over here, uh, it has a project name that you want to, that, that doesn't look good. So if you want to change that, you can uh, go back to your console and project overview. And right over here, it says project public facing. So I'll say Firebase authentication. And save. So I'm gonna run this again, and now let's see. So click on sign in, continue, and we have Firebase authentication written over. Perfect. So I'll click over here. So if you can see right over here, we have uh, my name written over here, but I think it. Uh, well, anyways, so let's try to run this again, and I'll show you a couple of issues that we have right now. So we are able to sign in, but as you can see, uh, we did not segue to the signed in VC, and also the session is not getting stored. So let's first um, store the session. So I'll go back to View Controller, and this is uh, over here where we are storing the session. So I'll just uh, copy these, go to our app delegate, and right over here I'll, we don't need this anymore and right over here i'll copy this paste it over here and then do let user default is equal to user defaults 
And now, uh, I just did right. You could just fall. And now, if we try to run, uh, it will store the session uh, after the first run. So I'll click on Google Sign In, and we are signed in again. And let's try to run this. And let's see now. So as you can see, we are already signed in, and uh, but there is a problem again. Uh, first thing that when user is signed in for the first time, uh, we are not segueing the user to the correct uh, view controller. So we need to do that. Secondly, if I click on sign out, we are able to sign out. Perfect. But if I try to run the app again, right, and I click on sign in. I'm automatically signed in with the same email address that I used last time. So, it, so to show you that, I'll run the app again, and you will see that I am able to log in directly. I mean, I'm, uh, as you can see, that it's not asking me the uh, the authentication page. It's not showing me the authentication page. And I clicked on sign in. Nothing is happening. If I try to run the app again, you will see that yeah, nothing is happening. So. Um, we need to fix this problem. Uh, so let's do it. Uh, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, all right, let's get to it. So first thing uh, we need to do is, as soon as the user is signed in, uh, we will uh, read the first time, or even if he's trying to log in, I mean, open the app again. Uh, we need to make sure that user is uh, going to the correct correct screen so for that uh, all we need to do is self dot window so this window is coming right from here self dot window dot root view controller and uh, root view controller dot perform segue and the segue that we need to perform will go back to this one and this is the segue that we need copy go back paste and this should be new. So, okay. so now let's try to run. Uh, this will fix the problem. Uh, so as you can see, we signed in directly. And if I click on sign out and click on sign in again, then you can see we are again signed in with the same email address. So, so basically, we are able to sign out from the Firebase, but we are still not signed out from the uh, Google uh, access token and the, the Google session, right? So let's uh, do that as well. Uh, let's go to our signed in VC and right over here where we are uh, signing out from Firebase, we will also do try. Uh, but before doing that, we will import Google sign in. And just over here, we'll say try g uh, id sign in dot shared instance dot sign out. And let's do it. So we'll sign in and we'll sign out and now we'll sign in again and this time it is asking us to or it's it's showing us the um, the page the login page and if i click on use another account i can try to log in with any other account that i want or i can try the same account so And we are signed in. And if I run the app, a Google sign in works. Um, for the next video, we'll see and we'll try to uh, do one more sign in provider. Uh, let me know which one you want Facebook or Twitter or GitHub. And uh, after that, I want to start with uh, another series and I want to stop this uh, Google sign I mean, the Firebase authentication. I want to do uh, four ML2. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. Then uh, after the next video, whichever you want, I mean, whichever authentication provider you want, we can do that. And then after that, uh, we'll start with the Core ML2 and Vision uh, framework. So, so I'll see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.